How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and if it sounds like there's a farm behind me I'm sorry my guinea pigs are running amok my dog is looking for everything to chew on none of that matters today We are roasting your guys's builds if you are easily offended probably click off if you're offended by me making fun of someone else's car who willingly sent it to me click off this video this will ruin your day anyways you guys hit that like goal in the last video, which is why this video is possible. So if you guys want to see a respect all builds, go ahead and hit the like button. Let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Why are we wasting time? You guys are tired of intros. Let's, let's just dive right in. Let's take a look at this one. Roast my shit. First photo. Mm, already know. Already know. This is the only thing you can get approved for was this fucking basic ass Honda Civic. You probably walked into the dealership trying to get that Type R, but they talked you into getting the little, uh, little sport or si this i think it's an si is this guy an airsofter or is he a military man either way he ain't getting paid enough you sent me four of the worst photos probably possible you sent me a photo of your taillights which to be fair i don't think many people see the taillights of honda civics because they're always dusting them a shitty screenshot of your snapchat from across the street these hondas only look good half a mile away so this is this is some good progress here a tilted photo I'm not going to tilt my head to, to look at this. I'm not wasting that much energy to look at this piece of shit. And then an interior shot. I wonder what the context behind this photo is here. Dude, we hit a high speed record. 21 miles an hour in the Civic. Take a photo. Yeah, get out of here. Next car, Mustang GT. I see a tow hook. Definitely no use through that at all. At least it is a 5.0. It's got a paper plate on it. So it looks like he bought it as is. So this guy hasn't done a damn thing to this car possibly. I'm not going to read his description. I don't give two shits. Don't submit someone else's build and don't flex anyone else's build. Dude is flexing Larry's build from down the street, bro. Does Larry know you're posting up his car like it's yours? This is Larry's car still. And how do you have good fitment in the rear but trash fitment up front? You need like a half inch spacer up there to fill that shit. That tow hook will see some function though when he inevitably spins off road. It'll be a good way to pull him out of a ditch. Another Honda Civic. What can I say that I haven't said already? Carbon fiber hood, lame purple headlights, fog lights. You went out of your way to get purple fog lights, yet you left your crusty, musty, old man nutsack headlights looking that rough? Basic maintenance, fellas. Let's let's get on it. Even with the carbon hood, this thing still looks like regular ass traffic. Like if I coasted past you, I would have no idea. And I don't know if you're going for that, but I have a feeling the thousand dollar plus hood probably had you feeling like this thing looked cool now it doesn't it, re it really doesn't yeah i don't know i mean if your goal was to look slow you succeeded if your goal was to get bitches you failed when you bought the honda civic i'm just gonna skim through his build list 143 wheel horsepower did you do anything to it like the fuck we got a swinger in our presence wow i could tell he's young because that is something a 17 year old would take and he does say he's 17 i don't know if this has started from the bottom now we're here or this is the bottom I honestly can't tell. You might still be at the bottom. I mean, it's cool that it's still in one piece. Um, by now, these are fucking more ran through than this dude's mom, probably. So um, it, it, it's good that it's in one piece. Y usually, not the case, but it's still got its face and its ass attached. So that's good. However, he is a youngin, so on these windy roads, might not be the case for too much longer. We'll we'll have to check back in a few months and see. Bro, who's sending in their aunt's car? Oh, never mind. This is one of your shit. Berg built. What? What'd you build? The 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 fake TEs in your garage? They don't they don't even look close to TEs. Sir Wakawa hanging from the front bumper. What did you build? You you threw on a couple zip ties and you put on some shitty ass hundred eighty dollar wheels. What did you build here? You know what? Let let's let's take a look at his fucking description for something like this where it says built on it. It. Mm, I better see some build shit in there. Okay, let's take a look. Let's lowering springs. Mm-hmm. Na. D it. You you have you have a, a you have you have a sticker of a turbo. Fucking brain dead. I mean, why else would he buy one of these? But I mean, come on. Res delete. Bigger throttle body. D badged. You're really listing D badged and tint as a mod. Yeah, you didn't build shit, buddy. You threw some fucking Amazon parts on this piece of shit and are pulling up to car meets. Come to the meet, bro. It's fucking sick. The meet. This thing. I'd leave right away. All right. What disappointment do we have here? It looks like a BMW. Right then and there, I know it's a 328i because they're on the same fucking side. Yep. <sighs> 328i. Some dude got swindled into getting a 328i. 
In my opinion, this is the same thing as a fucking Honda Civic. It's the same fucking thing. Like, yeah, it's got the German badge on it, but there's not much else that's different here. I mean, it's real wheel drive, cool, but you you ain't you ain't winning races in this. You might be pulling bitches, but they're they're fucking stupid because it's a 328i. Then this dude chose directional wheels in 2023 on his stock 328i with the wrong offsets. Might I add that? This is just bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. If you thought it would look cool to get your homie in the car in your 320A, drop the top and take a photo of it. I'm just going to say there might be a beer sponsorship for you. I hear that's the trend right now. That's all I'm going to say. Nothing against it. Why are the photos so grainy too? Was this taken on a Nokia? Why is everyone sending in their car today a 17 year old? I don't, I don't know what's going on with you underage people sending me your cars, but you don't have to tell me how old you are. I treat you all the same. I don't care if you're 30 or if you're 17. If you send it in, I'm still gonna talk shit. This first photo, I could tell you got some bacon fucking front fenders, bro. You 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 just got the worst offset wheel and you are rubbing like a motherfucker. Wrong color rear bumper, Buster. That that ain't the same color. I'm, I'm sorry to rain on your parade, but you gotta paint match that shit. You gotta hide it in the shade all you want. I still see it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, leave it to a 17 year old to be flexing the manual transmission. What are you posing with? A fucking Wrangler? You guys aren't even in the same category here. Okay, that good, good for you, I guess. This, these are all the photos we get. Who did that? Which one of your friends said that they knew how to roll fenders? Because that looks like fucking ass. I would 100% take the Jeep over this piece of shit any day. And that's just so I can get death wobble and go straight into the wall. That's that's the only reason. Because out of these two cars, I don't want either. Next car, we have a V6 5th gen trying to look like a Camaro ZL1 6th gen. Good job. Yay. Oh, only if you would have saved your little pennies and just bought a fucking V8. You wouldn't have to compensate so much by putting this bullshit front fascia on your piece of shit 5th gen Camaro. Bumblebee wannabe having ass garbage ass car. He, he claims like every V6 owner out there, I'm going to be engine swapping it. No, you're not. You're not going to be engine swapping it. I'm calling cap right now. There's not a, a, a single ounce in my body. Some would say a little bit too overweight of a body, but my body, there's not a single ounce in it that believes that you're going to be engine swapping this car. You want to know why? Because it's not as simple as just, hmm, I'm just going to pull this fucking piece of shit V6 out and throw in a V8. It's not that simple. I know you haven't done your research. It's not that simple. Everything on the car pretty much needs to be changed. So sorry to rain on your parade. I I'm sorry to rain on your parade, but your best case scenario, sell this to some other fucking idiot. Why are you sending me pictures of your food? Sell this to one of your idiot friends and just go buy a fucking V8. It's not going to happen. Can we get a, a F in the chat for this guy that thinks that he's going to fucking engine swap it? It's just not going to happen. I've been there. That's why I know. I had the V6 Mustang. I was gonna LS swap it. You wanna know what happened? I woke up. I realized I was gonna stop lying to myself and it's time to grow up, put on my big boy pants and go get a fucking job. And guess what? I got a job, I worked and I bought a fucking V8. Moral of the story is get up off your ass. Roast my ride, SRT8. You got the SRT model and you're still too dumb enough to realize that that Amazon fucking front lip doesn't look cool on your piece of shit grandpa car. Really? I mean, you could black out the grill. I think that looks fine. You could have the little halo headlights. I think that looks cool. This weird Amazon front lip that you see on every piece of shit ricer out there. I don't think that looks cool. The rear end even looks cool. This guy made one bad decision and it killed his whole car. That front lip is just so ugly. Just take it off. Whatever factory lip you have underneath that looks 10 times better. This thing, this thing does not look right. I do not like that. Everything else I think isn't really, really bad. I like the wheels, sort of. I mean, they work. He's got the 6.1. I mean, again, I think everything else is pretty much fine. I think the ultimate killer is that dog shit $60 Amazon front lip. You know, I bet you I'll find it right now. Car front lip. This is this is the extent of this dude's mods. Yeah, actually, it kind of looks like this one right here. How much is it? $66. Wow, good job. All right, we'll do a couple more. We have a three valve here. You guys know, obviously, I like three valves. But as a three valve owner, I know that these motors are pretty damn dog shit when it comes to modifying. It takes a lot of money to make some serious power out of these. So 450, 500, that's pretty much the limit. And nowadays, that ain't shit. And it's sad because, like, I like how these look. I think they're cool. They're retro. But this one, it's okay. I mean, it's got, like, the very generic fucking American muscle multi-spoke wheel. The fake hood scoop that everyone has. 
This one apparently has a built engine and he's still only making 455 horsepower. So you didn't have to build the engine to do that. I mean, I could have just told you right then and there, you didn't have to build the engine to make 455 horsepower, but spend your money however you want. If you want to just light it on fire like this guy, be my guest, buy a three valve. Um, three valves, WRXs, great ways to just waste money. Speaking of Mustangs, here we go, another one. We got a new edge Mustang here. I'm not sure, okay, it is a GT, he has um once again fake three-piece wheels i lo love that common on these very common on these fitment's all right it's not the best but it's all right he's got some pretty dog shit tires on this thing so that lets me know that he is in fact a slow ass regular ass traffic car what i like to call these are just obstacles because when i'm out actually trying to drive and have fun these things are just in my way these 200 horsepower turds they're just they're just in my way I like two valves. They sound cool. I think their cars look cool too. Like this is, a, in my opinion, it's a decent looking car. It's got some nice lines on it. Again, the motor, not all that. 450 horsepower-ish max. And nowadays, not it. Unless it's a Terminator, you should terminate it. Who the fuck has this fucking crimson chin looking ass car and decided to put racing stripes on it and then decided to send it to me? Like who the, that's what it looks like. It, what what is this thing this thing is fucking hideous okay yeah i mean i guess everyone if we have to respect all builds here we have to we have to be nice to everyone we're all just part of the car scene no i refuse this is something my grandma would have if she was still alive and even then i think she would have better taste than buying one of these god rest her soul he said he did spray paint the racing stripes on so not only did he put racing stripes he spray painted them however i will give him some props they are pretty damn straight so I will give props where props are due, but that's the end of my of my compliments for this fucking crimson chin fucking car. Uh, get out of here. Dog shit. How big are those wheels? Forgiatos. I think those are Forgiatos, right? I don't care. They're they're not my fucking tie style. I don't I don't give a shit. Look how many spokes are. You know how annoying it would be to clean that fucking wheel? This guy gave him a chore to clean. Well, what tires does he have? That's how I know if you're fucking a cheap ass or not. If you have like some lion hearts on this bitch, I don't know what that says. That might not even be damn English. So I don't even know. But uh, that's usually a sign that this motherfucker's penny pension to build this car. And he's got the 6.1. Once again, a cool SRT. Yeah, whatever. But he's on the Forgiato. How big are they? Does he? I think it says 22 right there. They look like 22s. Oh, God, that drivetrain is being fucking worn, man. Those, those fucking axles are smoked. Every All of the everything's got play i guarantee all the fucking wheel bearings they all got play so but besides the dog shit wheels very cool breaking bad looking car but i mean you're pulling up with the guy with welds uh, also giant fucking wheels as well I, what's with this fucking dodge shit man you guys dodge owners just can't seem to modify their cars to look good ever i don't know what it is but it just seems like they fucking just love just making them look like shit all right we'll do one more nismo why not let's let's take I was expecting a 350 or 370Z Nismo. I was not expecting no goddamn fucking Sentra. Once again, you know your car is dog shit when you're taking photos of it from across the parking lot. Like, you know that that bitch is ugly up close. That's like, it's like taking a photo of your girlfriend, you know? If she's pretty, you could show her up close. But if you have to stand across the room from her and do some weird filter shit, she's fucking ugly. What are you racing? Okay, even if you won this race, does anyone care? It's a fucking FRS. Nobody gives a damn shit about it. I can't believe Nissan really swindled people into buying a fucking a Nismo version of a Sentra. Oh, and he's very proud of this. Yes, this turbo 1.6 Nissan beats up BRZs. Dude, Honda Odysseys. PT Cruisers. Those probably beat up fucking BRZs. Oh, fucking the school bus full of kids. That probably beats up BRZs. That ain't saying a whole lot. I've never heard somebody flex about beating one of the most underpowered cars of the modern era. Never. Only BRZ owners race BRZ owners seriously. Like, those are the only people that race each other. It, it maybe Miata owners, and even then, Miata owners probably just let them win. They just they just don't embarrass them. So I don't. Know. <sighs> whatever, man. Whatever, whatever makes you happy. If if you enjoy driving this, more power to you. But I just, how much is a Nismo Sentra? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know because I'll lose sleep. Sleep. Anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did subscribe if you want one of your cars to end up in one of these videos send it to my gmail drew peacock clips at gmail.com but hopefully i didn't offend you guys too bad i'm just having fun none of my cars are flawless so i don't take this too seriously i'm just some guy on the internet after all anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did let me know subscribe and until next video peace